Hello Team Gemini. This is your full moon cycle love reading. Welcome back. If you're new, this is for sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. The energies can go either way. So if I say Gemini, I could be talking to you, cross watcher. Cross watchers also welcome. Keep in mind, this will not resonate with everyone on the planet that has Gemini placements, okay, or cross watchers for Geminis. So, Gemini. Intuitively, I'm picking up <clears throat> this is about your connection, okay? Um, I'm going to take this in reversal. So there's something that you don't feel stable about and that has to do with your connection. This could be someone from the past. This can be someone you're dealing with right now. Whatever energy. So if this is an ex that you are inquiring about on this video, this is about their energies, okay? So there's a feeling of you don't feel stable for, with this person, okay? There's a going, coming back and going back energy that I'm picking up on, like on and off energy is what I'm feeling. And it's like... I feel the same energy with you. I feel like this person, whoever, um, you know, you know who it is, okay? They confuse you, okay? And it's like you're confused about it because they kind of go out of your life and then um, it's like one minute you think, okay, you know, I want to be with them. Next minute you're just like, I, I don't know. Like you, there's a... It makes you feel unstable. You're confused about whether or not to take this connection to the next level. You think about them one minute. You think about the good times you had. And the next minute, you're just like, no, I can't do this. Because there's something in the back of your head, Gems, that you're not listening to. Intuition, always listen to your intuition. What I'm getting is, is that spirit is trying to give you a message in regards to this connection, in regards to this um In regards to you getting your stability, because that's what you want, okay? You want to feel happiness. You want to feel joy. You want that commitment, okay? But what is going on right now in your world is that you're ending a cycle, okay? There is a cycle that's coming to a close, and that's why there's so much confusion. So I feel like you're being pulled in two directions, when it comes to this person, okay? And the reason is, is because you feel subconsciously, whether you consciously feel it or not, okay? I just want to say, you can't pinpoint what this person is not telling you because there are some lies this person is feeding you, Gems. So this is about you realizing why this person is lying, what they're lying about. Because this whole, I, I pulled some cards. I'm going to pull more cards though. Intuitively speaking, this person is, has, is lying, okay? Um, they're keeping something from you. And um, let, we're going to look into that in a minute. But they're definitely keeping something from you. And that's why you don't feel stable with them. So you might know this person for a while. They, you might think, okay, this is my soulmate. This is blah 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 whatever but it's like you just can't like take it to the next level it's like you kind of feel like a um you're you're on and off about it and then they just pull you back in this person has this routine of pulling you back in okay and um god okay i'm going to i'm just going to go into this right now because i know some of you really really um you got love for this person okay but this is the cycle that's ending okay it's coming to an end and that's why you're so confused right now um one minute you want them the next minute you don't so you have a lot of contemplation going on in your head right now it's like at night after a busy day when you come home and you're gonna go to sleep you think about this person like what should i do one minute you're like okay let me reach out to them some of you are not communicating with this person um, I'm getting a past energy, but it could be someone you're dealing with right now. But, um, for some of you, it's like they're a world, world away. I'm getting, yeah, maybe it could be, um, 
someone like that lives far away from you. But for some of you, this person is in another world, okay? So what I mean by that is not really literally. What I mean is you both are from different worlds. So for some of you, this person could be putting up a facade of who they are um, and kind of going with your flow, gems. So like saying things, doing things to impress you, but it's not them. So I, I feel like this facade energy with this person, like they're, they're just like fake. Let's, let's be real. It's like they're fake. They put on an act of who they are and um, it's to impress you. But this person does, that's probably the lies for some of you. For others, I'm going to check what the lies are because I don't like this energy. I don't like it one bit. And I was pre-shuffling, all these cards were popping out. So I don't like this energy, okay? So there's a lot of deceit. I got double confirmation from this, lies. Um, this person really plays a number on you when they come back into your life or when um, they're about to be caught with their lies, okay? That's what I want to say. So if you've ever, like, called this person out, or if you've ever um, like tried to call them out or like question them about anything, it's like they're so manipulative. They make a fight, like a huge fight about it to avoid telling you the truth. It's like they run away from it, okay? But you are being prepared right now to start your um, journey because I feel like there's someone else coming in, okay? This person could already... Be, you could know this person for some of you, but this new connection, this new soulmate connection, okay, is coming in. You might think that the person that you were dealing with was like the one, but what I'm getting is that you're closing out a cycle, okay, and a new person is coming in. I think we got this last time in your reading, and the person that's coming in is going to be as caring as you, okay? So some of you, what I want to say is you help people in some way. You are a leader. I'm getting that kind of energy from you. You could be um, like a humanitarian or something like that, and you're going to find your double. Like you're going to find your, you know, what people call like the other half, okay? This is going to be that kind of connection that is coming in for you. And some of you might try to like you because you're ending a cycle, you might be kind of like, OK, I don't want anybody in my life. I want to be single. But I feel like this person is going to come in at the perfect time. For some of you, you know this person, but you haven't recognized them as being a possible you know, um, partner, okay, possible, you know, love interest, because you've been so hung up on this other person. And that's how, because um, the, the other person, that's how they flow. Like they, that's how they, you know, kind of manipulate you into being stuck. Okay, is what I want to say. It's like they turn you on and off, just to get, you know, just to know that you're still there. Okay. That's what I want to say. They're playing games. Whoever this is, all right, don't be mad. This is what I'm getting. Whoever you are, cross watcher, Gemini, whatever, that person keeps, it's like every time they think you're walking away, they pull you back in. I'm getting a pulling back in energy from this person. But the new person, guys, um, very stable, caring as much as you are, okay? And you know who you are, okay? So whoever is watching this, if you're the type of person that I just described before, helping people um, on your spiritual path, um, humanitarian, a healer, whatever that is, you're going to find your double, okay? Your, you know, some people call it a twin, divine counterpart, call it what you will. Labels don't matter. You're going to find that other half that I'm talking about. And this person is going to be so caring. It doesn't matter if they're female or male coming in. They're going to give you the stability you need, gems, okay? Because this other person gave you everything but stability. You didn't feel secure with them. And you're probably wondering, hey, why didn't I take this to the next level? Because I want a commitment. 
Why didn't I take it to the next level with this person? It's because it's being blocked for your own good. So don't question it anymore and um, listen to your intuition. For some of you, um, you need to really meditate is what I'm getting. Okay. And be patient because you are being prepped up for a new journey. Like I said, the cycle is going to end. You're going to be on a new journey, okay, a new path. Um, I feel like this person, whoever is coming in, is going to be a game changer for you, this new caring connection, okay? Um, and you're going to be pulled into a new direction. You're, you're going to, okay, there's something that you're not seeing right now because you are in this kind of, I don't want to say depression. Well, some of you are depressed because you feel unstable. Like, what should I do? You're in decision mode. Um, but just be patient because this will be revealed to you through your intuition. Pay attention to your dreams, okay? Meditate. Um, I'm getting a lot of hard working from you right now. There's a lot of things you're like um, working on, Gems, but try to meditate at least for 20 minutes at night okay instead of worrying at night before you go to sleep and being stressed out um yeah so i'm gonna get into this person um that i feel is feeding you lies the other person the last you know the ex or whatever whoever you're dealing with okay yeah Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I'm getting from this person is they got an ego on them. Um, this person is closed off, okay? So it could be that they open up and close off to a lot, so that's what confuses you about them. I do feel if you're not in communication with this person that they might reach out to you with the text, okay? But I have to say there's, I feel an energy of this person, like another person in their energy field, okay? So they could be talking to someone else. They could be, um, okay, wait, I don't like this energy. Magic. Um, let me see. Oh my God, shut up. Yeah, you guys, um, there is really, like I said earlier, there's some type of deceit, lies going on with this person, okay? You might try to figure out this person. You might find them mysterious for some of you because it's like they're on and off about being open and closed and you might think, oh, you know, it's, it's kind of hot that they're not really like, you know, but... There's some type of lies. Hold on. Yeah. I feel like for some of you, there's someone else in the picture. Okay? There's someone else. Um, I just got, for those of you who are in long-distance relationships, um... Make sure you find out about this person. Like, what's their, who are they? What their, who's their family? I'm getting like, I don't know. Just make sure you find out, okay? So, yeah, for some of you, this person is already in a commitment. This is weird. Some type of a commitment. that okay so let's see yeah so you might be thinking um see here's the thing for those of you gems that this person has hurt you you need to heal from this okay so some of you might think that this is just a phase you're going through but it really isn't 
um, they want you to really dig into this person is what I'm getting. There's like a lot of lies and other people involved in this connection. It's like you're not alone. There's other people around this connection um, that is not, yeah, their secrets. Look, guys, um, I'm being totally pointed to these cards to show them to you, okay? Um, there is some, there's, it's like this person I feel is feeding you an illusion, okay? So spirit is really trying to um, make you understand this and you have to be strong when it comes to this. Because I feel like for some of you, um, this could be someone you know um, is what I'm getting is like, let's say they're a family friend or you were hooked up with this person through family arrangement or something like that. Or you know the same people, but there's a lot of secrets this person is hiding. Like I, like there's, they're, they're lying or they're keeping something from you. There's this facade they keep putting on. There is manipulation. Let me tell you this. And somebody, um, this is not for all of you, but I'm getting for a few of you that this person is doing some kind of black magic um, on you. Okay? Or take it vice versa. This is, you know, you guys can take it the other way around. There's some type of magic going on here. And I don't like it. Okay? So, you need to be strong at this time. And... Um, you need to listen to your intuition. Yeah, because you're going to be, you're going to, you have, this is your card gems. You are going to be, um, you're going to need to have to make a decision. It's coming up, okay? So I feel like spirit is preparing you for this decision, whether you're going to stay with this person or not. But I just want to let you know, if you think this is like the all be all person for you, this ex person, whoever I'm getting, or Maybe you're still communicating for you, for some of you, but this, because they're in your energies regardless, even if you're not communicating, this person, you need to make a decision about them, okay? You do feel a very strong um, connection to them. This could be a karmic soulmate. Um, there's a lot of heavy karma that I'm feeling between you two, um, but you, you're going to need to make a decision. I know some of you have been putting this decision off. But you're going to come to that crossroads where you're like, okay, I need to make a decision. Either it's yay or nay with this person, okay? Yeah, that, this person is going to reach out to you, okay? They're going to reach out to you with a text or something. Kind of like, it could be like, oh, how are you? Like acting like nothing happened. Um, like everything's cool and they're all of a sudden going to try to pull you in again. I'm getting the energy pull you back in. This is not healthy. So be cautious, be aware, use your discernment, listen to your intuition. Okay. Yep. Mm hmm. Hold on. Okay. So I feel like, yeah, if you, if, if this person or you, whoever it was, was in isolation or somebody was ignoring the other person, they're coming out of this. But they're going to come towards you in like, in the tower moment. You're going to have to have the tower moment with this person. You might be avoiding it. They might be avoiding it. I don't know who's avoiding it. But this has to happen because, um, oh, okay, ending. Okay. This is what I want to say. For those of you that you just, you don't want to be with this person anymore, but you don't want to give it closure, um, I feel like you're going to be forced to close it off, okay? So it has to end because this has become a burden um, on you, gems. This is going to lift a heavy burden on off you. There's a lot of endings in your life right now, okay? Don't take it in the negative way. This is actually positive. It's like the universe is working in your favor is what I'm getting. You're going to have to have a tower moment with this person because this person is going to come to you, okay, in their old ways of like acting like nothing happened, acting like you know, 
everything's good and dandy. Um, they might be blocked off though emotionally, but you're gonna, it's like, yeah, I'm getting the three of cups. This person is not going to come to you. Um, you're going to, you might feel like this, um, gems, but it's like, it's not fair to you. You know that, right? This connection is not fair is what I'm getting. But once you, you know, have this tower moment, okay, it's like, yeah, you're not going to feel good about it, but it's going to be kind of over, okay? Um, someone's going to get rejected, okay? Someone's going to get rejected, but it's going to bring order to your life. So that's what I'm saying. I feel like this person throws you off. Let's see what this is about. Let's see what this is here. Yeah. The injustice is ending. It's ending, okay? So this connection is not fair. It's not stable. Okay? This person might try to apologize to you, but not take apologize, meaning they, they, they're going to apologize to you and they're going to try to, like, woo you back in. But at the same time, it's like, is it sincere? Um, yeah, this person is going to pull out all the bells and whistles to keep you in their life. Yeah. Okay, so this is what I want to say. For those of you, like I said earlier, who are healers, you know, um, you help people, whatever, take it how it resonates, you do things for people. So this person has had, it's like they kept you from that is what I want to say. Um, they had you like this, Gemini. But the truth is going to come out somehow. The illusion is going to, you know, um, fade is what I want to say. Listen to your intuition because um, remember, okay, you need to do the healing. But at the same time, it's like you know what your destiny is. You know what you're destined to do, okay, for a lot of you. And... This person has been keeping you from it. It's like I feel a blockage. I feel like they were like, um, yeah. And this person has been keeping you up at night, like worrying, stressed out, whatever. I feel like it's affecting your work too. It has affected your work for some of you. And it's just like they're just throwing you off. And um, for some of you, it's because they've been manipulating your mind. And I know it's hard for some of you to accept that. But it's like, don't just just accept it and realize that, you know, it, you realize that you're in control. Okay. Have the courage to make this stop. Okay. You got to be strong when this person comes back in. Okay. But, um, oh, sorry. Yeah, there is there's some type of trickery going on. Um, yeah, there is definitely some type of trickery manipulation going on. Um, let's see what's coming in. Okay, I'm going to go on to the new person. Let's see who this is. Okay, so this is interesting. So um, this person you could meet through work is I'm getting some type of work environment. And then um, this person also is, is, go, is ending a cycle in their life. So they could actually be coming out of a relationship or releasing a relationship themselves. You're like, no, please don't bring me anybody with baggage. But you know what? Everybody has baggage, guys you know, alert, you know, that's the news. Everyone has baggage some way. Um, it just depends on how they work on it. So this person also is coming through. Um, this could actually be someone you know that you haven't communicated with in a long time or that you haven't seen them for a while. But this person is going to bring you wish fulfillment, okay? Um, 
this person that you're dealing with could actually be a spiritual spiritualist or healer or in the arts like the spiritual arts um they work with energy whatnot is what i'm picking up okay and this person is also busy like you like they do like a million things if you're that type of person that has like all these projects going they're also that type of person so it's like they're gonna be your person is what i'm feeling okay so yeah and for those of you who've been working on manifesting they could actually be a magician too you know um that you okay this is what i want to say for some of you it's like you did some type of manifestation work on like i want my soulmate i want my other half whatever and you thought that the other person was the person but actually this new person is the person is what i want to say and you two together are going to be like manifestors like great manifestors is what i want to say this person um like you guys will just click and it will just go off but what you need to do is get that that past person's energies out of the way um push it out of the way okay anything else for gemini yeah i feel like you're gonna have some type of fight or there's gonna type be some type of sneakiness um when it comes to this person the uh, the ex okay you got to get these energies out, yeah you got to get these energies out of your system out of your aura um this person has affected you and you know energetically is what i want to say okay and yeah you need to find some balance they threw off the balance you need healing this is not my getting back together card i know that is for some tarot readers but this is for me this is healing this is, you know, do you see how the angel has the water um, element at their feet? Okay, cleansing, purifying, because that's what I want to say. This person, the ex or whoever, um, they, they really um, messed with their energy is what I want to say. Okay, so yeah, for some of you are thinking they really messed with my nerves, okay? Yeah, they really mess with your nerves, but they really mess with your energy. So there needs to be purification, cleansing, take a spiritual bath, go um, in a body of water. It's like you need that water is what I'm getting. Um, yeah, you definitely to need to dunk yourself in some water, okay? Because that, it's ending. No more hurt whatever you're not gonna feel good gemini i'm not gonna lie getting rid of this person is going to be hard for you but there's always after endings there's always beginnings there's a lot of endings in your card it's going to be over and after the ending is a new beginning like i said you're gonna get on this new path um okay this new path endings and beginnings for you um it's 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 go it's not going to be easy okay is what i want to say you might feel sad or whatever but it's i think you just got used to this person in your life you got used to their energy going back and forth and you know their shenanigans and you know whatever so um yeah yep yeah this person is definitely going to the other person is definitely going to reach out to you. This is your um, warning, okay? Um, they're definitely going to reach out to you, like I said, okay? They might apologize to you. They might this. It is up to you whether you let this person go or not. But I do see another person coming in. Um, okay, I see. This is what I'm getting. Yeah, the other person coming in. There's a coming together, okay? There is a coming together. So, I could go on and on. Um, somebody. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's going to be your decision, okay? Some of you are going to be confused who to pick, okay? But, um make sure you 
this okay this is for me this is like something solid a commitment and engagement okay so i know some of you really want to you know be committed and get married whatever um there i don't know i'm picking up a water sign the new person for some of you or they could have water in their chart but i'm picking up someone who is very emotionally available okay so if your your last person wasn't um they did they weren't really caring like I don't know, I'm picking up that energy from them. And you're just probably like, oh, that's just how they are. They don't show it. No, this person who's coming in is going to be that type of person, okay? But it's what it's up to you, Jem, whether you pick this person or not. But I feel like for some of you, they're going to be kind of wiped out. You see how I said water? Water sign? Or it could be, you know, somebody who has water placements. Um, this is, yeah, I mean, it can't get better than this, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, your other person could have been a water sign too, but this, I'm getting a new energy from them. This is a new person coming in. Like I said, solid, solid person. Not someone who makes you feel unstable, okay? You both heal each other. This new person is going to be very healing. You're going to heal them. They're going to heal you. It's going to be a even exchange is what I want to say of energy and love and, and healing. Um, yeah, this is beautiful. Okay. For, I know some of you don't want to, you know, oh, wow, Jen. Yeah. You're see. Yeah, you're going to def. It's it's. There's endings and new beginnings. You're gonna release this this attachment you felt to this person, okay? Which was toxic, um, because they kept pulling you back in. Like I said, there's manipulative energies, um, that were on, in this connection, okay? But you're going to, um, release that, and there's a new beginning of abundance. You're gonna finally be nurtured for who you are. It doesn't matter whether you're male or female, this person that is coming in is going to really, um, make you feel abundant. Okay. Um, they're going to care and nurture for you. Um, and this is definitely like this new, 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 um, loving energy I'm getting. Um, actually, uh, Venus is in I think in Scorpio right now, okay? So, yeah, there's this loving energy coming in, okay? So, purify, cleanse, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. All right, gems, I hope you enjoyed that. Give me a like if you have. If you don't forget to subscribe also if you already have it. And I'll see you all next time. Take care.